AI tools have been popping up in the last few months with the power to make you more money online and the tool we'll be looking at today is ChatGTP. Now if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's been developed by OpenAI and it's trained to follow an instruction in a prompt and provide a detailed response. So you can use it for language translations, answering questions, text summarizations and much more. But in this video we're just going to focus on low content books. So the website you're going to need to go to is openai.com slash blog slash chat. GPT, but I'll also link it in the description and it's free to use and set up an account. Once your account has been set up, you will be taken to this page where it shows example prompts of what you can write, its capabilities and limitations. And I'm sure you'll be blown away by this tool. Let's say you wanted to create a gratitude journal with prompts, then you can type in write prompts about gratitude just at the bottom of the screen and then to the right hand side, just click enter and watch it generate those responses within seconds. And you'll be pretty impressed with the quality and the speed it comes up with these responses. I know if it was down to me, then it'll take me quite a few minutes to come up with a lot of these quality responses. And you see it's done those already. And you can just have a read through those and see if you're happy with those or not. And if you don't like the responses, then there's a button at the bottom, you just click regenerate responses, and then it'll come up with some more responses that hopefully you're happy with this time. And even if you think about hiring somebody else, then it might take them a day or two to get back to you. But with this tool, you've got responses within a few seconds, which is absolutely fantastic. So you can see here it's generated us another 10 uh, responses, which are really, I'm actually happy with. However, I would like these maybe to be a little bit shorter and maybe I'd want more as well. So what you can do is just come up to the bottom and then you can write down 20 short prompts about gratitude. So here I've been a bit more specific about the number I want and a bit more descriptive about the length of the responses and then click enter and watch it generate those exact responses that you've asked for. So it's just about being a lot more descriptive when you put down your prompts. And then if you're unhappy with anything, as I've said before, you can click regenerate responses. But if you are happy with your responses, then you can come to a website such as Canva that is free to use. Then you can type in the word journal for some templates. Then you can take a look through the templates that it has to offer and just look for something that you like. I'm just going to scroll through till I find something that I can use. And then once you do find something, just click on it, then click customize this template and you'll see the template show up. Then you just need to edit the text. So all you have to do is double click on the text. You can go back to chat GPT and copy and paste uh, one of the gratitude responses. And then you just paste it into the text there. You might just want to just rearrange the font size and reduce that so it fits on the page and make sure everything's looking good. Then as well, I might just want to lower the paragraphs uh, where people will write, bring that a little bit lower. And then once you're happy with that, then you just copy and paste um, another page and then you can add uh, another gratitude response. Um, and then you can do the same for the third page, the fourth page, the fifth page and so on. So it's pretty easy to do. And it just depends on how many pages you want for your gratitude journal. And once you're done, you can just upload it to Amazon. And if you ever want to delete the responses that chat GPT has come up with, you just need to go to the left, click the bin, and um, then you've got a tick and a cross. Click the tick if you want to get rid of it or the cross if you want to keep it. Then if you want to start a new response, just click new chat and you'll be taken back to the main screen. 
Now let's push this tool a little bit more and really see what it's capable of. So a niche that's just round the corner is Valentine's Day. Uh, let's say we want to create a word search for Valentine's Day and we need a list. Then what we can enter is list 50 words about Valentine's Day. Then go over to the right and click enter and watch it generate all these words for us and a list like this again would take us quite a bit of time to come up with but with chat gpt is just going to be like your virtual assistant it's still mind-blowing that this tool is still free so definitely make the most of it and you can see that it's come up with our 50 words now you can ask it to generate another 50 words about Valentine's Day or love or any other topic to have more words. And now you've got the list. All you need to do is upload your words to a word search generator. And the tool that we're going to use in this instance is the Instant Puzzle Generator. There is a cost to this tool of $47. However, it is the best tool that you can use. And once you have paid for the tool and signed up, then you just need to click access now and access now again, then create a puzzle and you need to come up with a title for the puzzle. Um, so for this instance, we're going to use Valentine's Day, then click create and then again you need to click view and you need to upload a few words so this can either be in a csv or text file only and in this instant we're going to use a text file only um, so you need to come up with a title each for each word search that you create so i'm gonna just keep using word search one as an example for this first one then we go back to chat gpt and uh, we can copy the first 10 words in so we just hover over it highlight it then copy and then we can go over to the text and then we just paste that in and then we do the same for the next 10 words so we again we need a title and we'll just put down word search two and then we'll copy and paste the next 10 words. So it's the same process. And then you keep on um, copying and repeating for the next couple. And as soon as they're all done, then you just need to upload it and you're gonna see it all shown here. And if you want to edit any of the words, then you're able to do that just by clicking the edit button. If you want to maybe change a few things on an individual word search, then you just click the setting there. Uh, you can download it there also. To the right hand side, you can edit it for each and every word search. And then you can just click this button here if you want to uh, download each of the word search and you can choose a download type so you've got png jpg and pdf for this instance they're just going to download it as a png and then you click download and then you're done then if you want to maybe add images then you can uh, put it into canva or any other tool so there's definitely a few low content niches that chat gpt will be very useful for i've listed a few low content niches here um, so definitely go test them out and i will be doing more videos on this and finally if there's anything you're unsure about when using this tool in the left hand bottom corner it's got an faq so just click on that then at the top you can search for anything you want specific for any articles then if you scroll down you can also see any updates and notices and in the right hand side it's also got a chat box so you can just click on that and then search for help so thanks for watching another video let me know what you think of this tool and if you've got any questions then put them in the comments below.